dope sale money today specifically right today is going to be a little bit different of a leg day because i'm doing just back profile so i'm going to be training glutes hams and then calves no quads no quads because we hit quads a couple days ago um they're still pretty sore but we're going to show you how we get busy show men how to train their glutes two the importance of having hamstrings and not just quads and then three understanding that the calf is really what completes and makes the leg look sweet um so without further ado let's jump into it but before we jump into it remember this video is sponsored by primeval labs today i'm off of one scoop of if shit cuts one scoop of asian max pump non-stem mild stem 150 milligrams of caffeine per one scoop co-sal money at checkout to save on the ticket so that's what i'm off of i'm gonna go get a juicy backside <laughs> this is where we starting the hip abduction machine and for those of you who've been following me for those of you who are new right i'm forward in this seat as much as i can be so my tailbone is essentially sitting on the tip of this seat and i'm forward in my body weight so i get that pull on my glute right i'm getting that pull on my glute here and as i open up i don't just open up and stay forward i open up and fall into a tall back right because this contraction that i feel down in glute is a thousand times greater than this contraction and then one may say well why don't you just sit back and get that because if i sit back i'm preventing my knees from getting out even further that's why i'm forward in my weight trying to get my shoulders in line with the lower spine right just like i would if i was doing a, a squat as we've said before i'm standing through the entirety of the squat and then i go down so i get that stretch forward here all the way through <sighs> two completely different contractions yeah Hey. Mm. Next up is the goat hamstring machine. Seated leg curls. I don't like to go dumb heavy here. Lighter weight, higher rep. I mean, this is one of the machines you notice almost instantly. If you too heavy, you feel that shit all on that outer knee them tendons and ligaments just grabbing like they shouldn't nah that's not the business <sighs> yeah Ooh. if at any point when you're doing this if it's just the top part of your back that's against this pad and the lower back is off and you're heavier you know good and damn well that that is lower back and that's why your lower back be hurting if you can't stay flush up against that back pat and it's the same translation to the prone leg curl guys will overload the weight and pull from the handles and keep kipping the weight up and not realizing that that hip keeps lifting up off of that seat that's where that lower back is taking over and that's why your shit is hurting not to say that you you shouldn't go heavy or you can't go heavy but heavy is heavy to the person that's lifting it <sighs> yeah, I feel good. Shit. All the tension is kept through that back hill. 
Right, that high ankle. Right. Hey. Yep. Come on. Oh, fuck. Just like on certain back movements, when I talk about pressure down, like a cable pullover, that certain V handle attachment that you guys see me do, I like to use that one because I can put all pressure down through that outer pinky and swoop down in with hands. So hands never really have to grab the handle. I can be here, swoop down in, and drive chest up. So it's the same thing with my ankle on this machine. I'm all pressured down on that heel or that, that high ankle, right? And I never let the weight re-rack on this stack. I keep that tension, let out, down in, squeeze. Trying to get these heels up under my ass, squeeze and let out. What the hell it seemed like I'm so far? Yeah, there we go. necessarily take six seven movements right you find two three three four movements that you can absolutely nail and feel every single rep that's all you need train with intent the hamstrings for me is one of them rare cases where less is more it doesn't take a whole lot Landmine, this plated landmine RDL, right? The weight is always in front of me. It's always in front of me here, and I'm just I'm relaxing my hands. I don't have so much tension in my hands, like I'm picking this thing up. I'm dead armed to a degree. Weight just rested here. I'm just sliding my hips back, right to that point where I feel tension, and then I thrust up through, right? It's not this drastic drop to where weight is all the way down here, and now that lower back is compromised. And a good cue for that is keeping the chest in front of you. So if I ever cave and my chest is over the floor, right, that's going to lead to that back trying to take over, right? Wherever the eyes are in terms of my lifting is where my chest will be. So if I'm eyes up, chest is up, right? But the second I do this and barrel my chin down in, apologize to your back a little bit later on. So landmine. RDLs for about four or five sets. Ugh. 
Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Last but not cheeks for the hammies. Prone leg curl. Ah. With the specific machine, when I take weight off stack, so I have tension here with a long hamstring, I'm turning my toes inward to get that scooping feel. <clears throat> Fag. Hail to the no. Man, bro, like, tips for growing my calves, man. I hit them all the time. They're just so tedious. If you notice, keep it rewinded a little bit or just pay attention to the next set. There's a little bit of a pause. There's like a, maybe like a one, one and a half second pause at the bottom. There's a one to one and a half second pause at the top. And I'm letting that, that forward ankle to a degree, right? This front part of my heel push forward. Right, so instead of being here, I'm here. Right, so I'm trying to get this over my toe line to a degree, if that makes sense. So that's the cue that I like to use when hitting my calves. So I'm not just bouncing in this little short, short little range. There will be an Instagram reel on this as well. Huh. <sighs> Fuck. Mm. Gassed is the word, because I'm tired as hell. Now we're going to hit the seated calf to get a little bit more of that outer calf, right? Same concept um, as far as getting the forward ankle on this machine. I'll show you exactly what it looks like now. Now here, you do kind of have to overstep to a degree. So it's like my big toe is hanging over that edge. Because if I don't, my feet tend to slip here. Ah. That's how you get that, that's how you get that thick ass calf, right? So I'm gonna be here about, about three, four sets. Wrap this shit up. I ain't gonna lie, and we ain't even get to hit butt the way that we wanted to, but hamstrings and calves, uh, that's more than enough. Especially because a lot of the, a lot of the butt stuff here is taken up right now from the Smiths to the hip thrust machines and everything else like that, but it's all good. We're throwing glutes with quads next. We're gonna always get it in regardless. Hamstrings? Yeah. Yeah, they hanging. You know what I'm saying? They just hanging out. Mm. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Shit, man. <sighs> <laughs> Shit. That is going to be a wrap on this one. Super simple and easy. Hamstrings and calves kind of day with a couple tweaks that you can implement into your training for better gains on your hamstrings and your calves. As always, this video was sponsored by Primeval Labs Code. Sell money, save you a little bit on the ticket at checkout. Be sure to, right? Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. And even if you don't, I appreciate you as always for watching this specific video. To the next one, y'all be safe, be smart. I'll see you real soon. Peace.